Hello everybody, my name is Greg Houchins. I'm the chaplain for the hospice program and I would like to speak some words of encouragement to you from the Word of God. You know, life is a journey to the end. The journey requires planning, it requires preparation, and it requires a lot of financing maybe, pursuit, with the destination in mind. And this is the way life is for us all. Unfortunately, many people spend more time planning their vacation than they do planning their life and preparing for eternity. But the Lord has given us all a life, a life to live, a life to live to his glory. And realize, when we realize it, the body is not the real individual. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 3, I know such a man, whether in body or out of body, I do not know, but God knows, as Paul was writing the church at Corinth. So the Bible itself distinguishes between flesh and spirit, but it teaches both. In 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1, Therefore having these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the sight of God. We do this in reverential fear, folks. The spirit of mankind is eternal. The spirit goes back to God. In Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 7, Then the dust will return to the earth as it was, and the Spirit will return to the God who gave it. This is very emotional times. I know that you've lost loved ones this past year, and our heart goes out for you. We feel for you. But God has not left you. God is with you. And we're here to encourage you to stay always faithful to God. Stay faithful to the church. Stay faithful for to your family, and as the spirit of an individual has passed and moves upward, then Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 3.21, who knows the spirit of the sons of men which go upward, and the spirit of the animal which goes down to the earth. God receives that spirit. When your loved one has passed and when we all leave this life, God will receive the spirit. In Acts chapter 7 verse 59, and they stoned Stephen as he was calling to God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And we all have that hope of seeing our loved ones again because of the resurrection of the dead. You know, the resurrection was taught by the prophets. In Isaiah chapter 26 in verse 19, the Bible says, your dead shall live together. With my dead body, they shall arise. Awake and sing and you will dwell in dust, for your dew is like the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. So we have that hope. Daniel said in Daniel chapter 12 verse 2, And many those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So we have that hope of preparation now for those who are alive to be able to see our loved ones, God has granted us time and opportunity at this point to make preparation to see him. Let us pray. Holy Father in heaven, we pray your blessings on these families. Father, we just know that you are in control of all things. You are the creator and sustainer of life. You are the great physician. You give life and you take life. All of us, dear God, have the responsibility to live our life as the salt of the earth and as the light of the world. And help us do that, dear God, each day. Father, we pray your blessings on these loved ones. They have lifetime memories. But Father, we know it says in your word, let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. Our loved ones are in mansions. And Father, we look forward to the time that we can have our own mansion in heaven. Bless us, dear God, and help us always be in faithful service to thee. In Christ's name we pray, and amen.
Messenger of God, a poem read by Loretta Boone, social worker with T.J. Sampson Hospice. Oh, little butterfly, messenger of God, when I see you in the sky, I cannot help but nod. You bring me respite from grief and despair every time I see you sailing through the air. You renew my faith in all God's wondrous plan, and I know it's all in faith, not in what I understand.